happy Friday. Welcome to another vlog. I'm really excited because obviously this is my Chicago vlog. I just got here maybe an hour ago and I got straight to getting ready because I want to get some brunch. I really want to, my hair is so tangled, wow. I really want to make sure that I get the most out of this trip because it is so short. I'm just staying at the Hilton Hampton Inn type of hotel so very affordable all their hotels are actually like really nice as well and a lot of them come with like complimentary breakfast in the morning i learned about hilton honors when i was in college because i would travel on a budget all the time and now i just stay at hilton honors all the time and they're all in very convenient areas and they're right next to like all of the popular ones anyways and so it's basically the same thing just finished my hair now i'm just going to show you guys my outfit and let's go all right here's a little mini room tour walk-in bathroom is here it's a very simple hotel has all the necessities and that's basically all i need bed is here and then i like how there's like a little couch i could possibly like do some editing if i need to another desk here i could do my makeup here if i wanted to and then here is the view cute little view so that is the room if you watched my last vlog i showed you guys that even though it's like 20 degrees here i'm just gonna wear something cute so i can get a nice picture when i'm at the sky deck so i just have this blazer here from i think jing and then this is the bodysuit from, I still have the size. Okay, this is my first time wearing this, so good thing I caught this. Anyways, this is from American Eagle, just a V-neck tank bodysuit. And then these pants, to tuck in the pockets, are from Aritzia Melina pants. I'm gonna wear my dad's sneakers from American Eagle. This is how I'm gonna layer. This does not match. I shouldn't have brought a patterned scarf because this is the only coat that I brought. But it's fine. Um, this is from H&M and this is from TJ Maxx. I'm just gonna wear it on top to cover up the actual outfit I wanna wear, but I'm gonna go get some brunch now. it was that big it's way bigger in person um they're also scraping some snow there but i took some pictures some videos it's kind of cold but we have the sky the sky deck soon so we need to start heading over there and my camera screen is like a bunch of lit on it anyways building just waiting for our appointment it's our appointment our ticket time i'm literally trying to take as many photos as i can with the same outfit by just like interchanging things and the last picture i took was with the bodysuit and a scarf like a tank top and a scarf but if you see very similar things on my instagram just like and scroll it's fine um i'm definitely stretching this outfit out gave us one minute to take photos the lighting was bad and i take about like five minutes to get a good photo that i like so that was a little bit stressful but we got some photos from when they took our photos with the camera i bought that because why not um now we're gonna go to walgreens get some things to the hotel it's so windy oh my gosh outside of the nutella cafe waiting to go inside Here's the menu, this looks so good. I definitely wanna get the hot chocolate. And then they also have like waffles and crepes and just a bunch of stuff. 
So this looks so good. I'm really excited. I'm finally in. This is so cool. And they have so many things with Nutella in it. You can even customize it. You want the croissant? Oh, that looks good actually. You can make your own parfait. Overnight oats. Chia seed pudding. You can also have crepes and waffles and gelato, creme brulee, so many things. Thank you. So I was absolutely dying and I was shivering. It's so cold. I think it's like 20 something degrees, but it feels like 15. And it snowed yesterday, so. Everything is just so, so cold. Time to freshen up for dinner. It is 8.15ish. Dinner is 8.30, but it's literally like a block away, so we're gonna leave in a few. It is absolutely freezing, and it's eight degrees. Well, it feels like eight degrees outside, but it's 22 degrees. This Chicago weather is like, Killing me and like I thought just because I've been living in New York and I'm used to the cold that it'll be fine But no, I was I felt my Entire body just like shivering. It was horrible. So anyways, I'm not really gonna do anything crazy. I'm just gonna fix up some gloss and re-powder my face a little bit just taking my beauty blender and kind of just patting it all the shops closed really early today surprisingly it's a friday and it closed at like seven so a bit sad about that but it's fine just gonna grab a quick bite probably come back and just call it a night finished outfit really just trying to keep warm double layered on the sweater beanie scarf coat same leather pants as today. So let's get some to eat. It is Saturday and I just got ready. I did a quick little makeup, well, not that quick. It's kind of the same thing I do every day, but today it's like much more glowier. I highly recommend the two concealers that I got last time. I'll tell you about it really quickly. This concealer by Ilia is the True Skin Serum Concealer, and it seriously is the best. It really covers up any dark spots, acne, anything, and it's so natural and light, and so it doesn't feel very heavy or cakey. Then, for under my eyes, I've been using for the past like two days this Hourglass, um, what is it called? I think it's the Hourglass Vanish Concealer, but this concealer is seriously worth every single penny. A little goes a long way, which is great, and then it blends out so seamlessly, it looks so airbrushed. Love it, I'll link it below, but today is our last day here and we are going to meet up with Chris and Lauren and her sister later. Their flight keeps getting delayed. It got delayed a few times, so they won't be getting here until 4 when they're supposed to get here at 10. So I'm sad for them because they were really looking forward to spending the day. This is my outfit of the day. It's still cold outside, so I'm still going to layer the coat over it. But I think I'm just going to take a few pictures and then come back and change after breakfast because yesterday you guys saw i was absolutely miserable and i want to be in something really comfortable so bodysuit is from abercrombie and fitch this is from nasty gal oversized blazer and then aritzia melina pants i'm gonna wear the dolce vita boots I'm gonna put my coat and scarf over it to keep me nice and warm but yeah i'm gonna take a few pictures in this outfit and yeah, that's basically all I have going on right now. So I'm going to go get some breakfast. Okay, I'm back. I actually got really lucky and ended up taking pictures right in the lobby because the lobby is really nice. And I got some good pictures. So I just quickly came up here, changed, 
and I'm double layering so I have my black long sleeve underneath this I have the white turtleneck from H&M then layering this with this scarf from H&M this is from TJ Maxx and American Eagle, American Eagle I will link as much as I can down below It was really good. We're at a place called Fire Cake Donuts, but we're waiting outside because there's too many people inside. It's so cold, like absolutely freezing. My legs are in pain because of how numb they are. It's fine. It's fine. Here's a little donut hole. I got this one. It's just a chocolate iced one. And then the old fashioned. I love good old fashioned donut. And then this one is like a jelly cream, jelly filling. And then this one, I think this is the honey glaze. Also, I didn't realize that Chicago goes all out for St. Patrick's Day. Everyone is out. It is so, so busy. There are like long lines everywhere to get into bars and restaurants. Obviously everyone is wearing green. Um, I was really surprised because I've never seen like a celebration like that before. Let me see if I can show you out the window. There you can see there's a line there to get into a bar. People waiting below, down there. Chicago was a place that I was considering living at one point. And it's just not the same as New York. I just love New York. It has so many factors that I'm obsessed with and Chicago reminds me a little bit of New York just from like the city life but it's very it feels very calm and like just the atmosphere is like different it feels more like people are just slowing down just doing their thing but New York has that like that it factor where you're like in the city and you just feel surrounded by like the same energy like I know this all sounds so cheesy but that's how I feel every single time I step outside of my apartment I just feel like this rush of like energy I love it there it feels so like good to be in the city and here I'm not really getting that same vibe probably because I am freezing and I know Chicago stays colder for longer rather than New York so maybe that's why but you know, I don't want to close myself off just to one specific city for the rest of my life. Even though I love New York, I still want to experience other places. So I think I want to visit here again, maybe in the summer, the fall, just later in the year where I'm not like actively trying to survive in the cold, you know? Ready to go back out. It's 3.30. Same outfit, but I just changed into my Aritzia pants because it keeps me warmer. Um, There's a stadium goods store and i've never been to stadium goods but i'm really interested to see it because sometimes i like to get some sneakers so if there's something like really cute then i think i might have to get some but i will show you guys when we get there back gonna do a quick super mini haul two things the first thing which you guys are probably interested in since I showed a little bit when I was in the store are the earrings the earrings right now I'm wearing are also from Fendi but these are the pearl earrings and when I went to New York in November to visit I originally went into the store to get these but the sales associate pulled these out and said they were brand new and they were gorgeous and Pearl is my birthstone. Also, it reminds me of my grandma. That's why I like pearls now because she likes pearls. So I like to wear them. And they had these. And so these are the original ones that I really wanted. And I'm so glad that I finally have it. They're just very simple hoops, but they're like cute enough to make a statement. They're not big. They're like the perfect size. The second thing, of course, I could not go home without a sweatshirt from Chicago. So 
I got this one. You guys know I'm obsessed with my New York one, so got a Chicago one, it's just a little basic one. I got it oversized so it can be really cozy for when I work at home. I'm gonna just get everything settled, start packing a little bit, and then we're gonna head out. Hey, hello everybody. This is my sister. Wait, wait, wait. I know you guys missed the me last week, but here we are in Chicago, living our best life, right past? Yep, we're in Chicago. Okay, I got a virgin mojito. I got a Mar. I got the jacket pose. And yes, here. Okay, you have to tell them about your travel shenanigans. I, I said it earlier. Oh, oh I got the late sweet No, literally. Wait, I'm gonna put it here. Can I put it here? Let's not listen to it. What? Okay, so. I know it's on and I just had to. No, we had a flight at 9. And then it kept getting delayed. We got delayed like five times. Five fucking times. I don't know if I can five times. Um, and so we were at the airport for like seven hours. But we're here now, so that's all that matters. Yeah, but also, they're only here for, they leave tomorrow. Yeah, so. so we're gonna stay up all night. You're gonna stay up all night. Can you stay all day? <laughs> All right, I'm back to the hotel. It is 11 o'clock, about to shower, get some rest. Have to wake up early for my nine o'clock flight, but I am so excited to be back home. Like, I just miss New York so much and just being away for two days really just amplified how much I love New York. So, so excited to be back and thank you so much for joining me on my trip. I appreciate you being here. Thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch this video, but, I had a great time in Chicago, but I'm ready to go back to New York. So can't wait for you guys to see next week's video and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.